Thanks for joining me again. Yesterday I did a painting for my youngest daughter Tristan and her husband Eli representing the unity of their marriage and so I wanted to show you the dried results of that. It turned out so beautiful. It's got a lot of cells and lacing and so this side had her four favorite colors. This side had his four favorite colors and the in-between part alternates between their colors. Uh, I think it's really, really neat how the gold on the white, this is the 24 karat gold by Deco Art, how it turned out so light and yet when um, it was on top of the black, it made it so dark and rich looking. So. I think it turned out beautifully. There's a lot of shimmer to it and sparkle from the purple that has the extreme glitter in it. So there's that one. It is absolutely beautiful. Today what I am doing is I'm doing one for my oldest daughter, Tiana and her husband, David. So I am using a 10 by 20 canvas and the base coat is going to be Permanent Black by Master's Touch. And the reason that I wanna use a black base is because a lot of the colors that I'm using are pearl and so on top of that, I'm going to have Satin Ivory by Delta Ceram Coat. Pearl Green Blue by Arteza. Metallic Harbor Sky by Rust Oleum. Since this is a Rust Oleum Metallic Accents paint, I have to make sure that I do not torch this one or it starts getting crusty like. So we don't want it to mess up the painting. And then Pearl Gold Green by Arteza. Enamel Evergreen by Folk Art. This is the closest color I had to olive green. Pearl Orange by Arteza. Berry Wine Folk Art Enamel. And on top will be Pearl Scarlet by Arteza. One of the things about doing this kind of painting is not only do you have to try to put the paints in order of how they're going to look good on top of each other in the center but since I'm doing every other one on the ends then I have to make sure that those will also look good together so it adds an extra layer of choices to make sure that it's gonna look really good and one of the things that I did is I took this and I would choose, I chose several different colors that I thought might look close to the colors that they said they liked. And then I put them down here so that I could tell which ones really would look best when they're dry and even when they were wet. And then I just wrote on here what they are. I want to eventually make a canvas or something that I'll have colors dripped down on them so that I will know what they'll look like just by having that and pull it out and look and see. But until then, I'm just using little papers. Okay, I am going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back.
All right, the canvas has been flooded, the bubbles have been popped, and I took some stuff out of the paint. Still looks like there might be a little bit of stuff in there. It's hard telling with black. Oh, there is definitely something right there, though. I don't know if I got it. One of the things that you want to make sure when you are working with a dark base is that you get the underside just a little bit because if you don't then you're going to see white canvas when it's hanging on the wall or something like that and you don't want that to happen. I know there are some people that they'll take their base color and kind of paint along the edges so that they make sure that they get covered really well and then they still go ahead and flood over it. It's probably something I should do. I haven't started doing it that way yet, but I might at some point. Okay, so we are going to start putting the colors down. I'm going to do the same way that I did the other one. I just like laying down a little bit of a guide. To know where I should start my colors and end them. I'm okay with having a lighter amount in the center because there are going to be eight colors in the center. Um, I might want just a little bit more than that to begin with. I'm not sure. I don't need it as thick as the edges though. So, okay, that looks good. Now I had some other paintings that I did that I used pearlescence on black and so I laid the pearlescent colors like in lines right beside each other and I was kind of thinking about doing that with this side because I really liked the way that turned out. I'm not 100% sure how well that will work but that's what I'm thinking about doing on the edge of this. there. Now if I lay them right beside each other though I'm not sure how well that's going to turn out. Just because, oh that's a lot of paint on that side. Um, just because they're going to spread out quite a bit more. So I'm not sure if I want to do that on this or not. Okay, and then this was the rust oleum. Harbor Sky. And then the pearl gold green. I don't know, maybe I should still be putting more in the center. I just don't know. I should know, I've done this enough times. Okay, how do I want to do this on this side? I don't think I want to do lines beside each other. I don't think it'll... 
I would have had to change this area, I think, to be able to put that the way that I was thinking about doing it. Okay, and this is the enamel evergreen. Pearl orange. Berry wine. This is one of my favorite colors. I have several favorite colors, so. And actually, I'm not sure since the rust oleum is so far down in the colors if it would still have the same effect as it does when it's on the top and you torch it. But I don't want to risk it and find out that it did mess it up. So that's why I'm not going to try that. And this one is Pearl Scarlet. I'll probably do a painting at some time where I use the Rust-Oleum down underneath a bunch of other colors and then um, try it to see if you can torch it if it's not up towards the top. Definitely want to make sure that you poke the bubbles, get them popped. The little ones won't matter as much as the big ones. All right, I think I got the worst of them anyway. So I'm gonna start here and blow down and then I'll start blowing the opposite directions. All right.
Wow, this is really, really pretty. I do want just a little bit more connection here. And there's not... This is really, really pretty. Wanted to blow those two out to give them just a little bit more definition. And so <clears throat> I did that. I like it. I'm going to go ahead and touch up my edges and I'll bring you down for a close up. Here it is. It is so, so pretty. I love it. I love the pearlescent colors. They are so beautiful together. has beautiful cells and lacing. I'm glad I tried to tie those two in together. I like how that turned out. These colors work really well together. I'm glad that I used the black base. I think it really helps the colors to stand out so much better. And that gold green, you can see the gold in through there. That is so, so pretty. has a heart right there and as I was laying the berry wine down I thought oh no I put that right on top of the green and I was hoping that it wouldn't have a bad mixture there but it did not it turned out really really pretty okay I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the overheads and then we'll look at it with just the flash on Here it is with the flash. Oh, those colors are so pretty. And since they're pearlescent, there is so much shimmer to them also. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. In the description, I have all of the colors that I used listed in there. And it would really help me out if you would click the like button. It helps my videos be shown to more viewers. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to become one of my newest subscribers. And thank you to all of those who are my current subscribers. Thank you for all of your support. All right, there it is. All right, I'll catch you later. Bye, and God bless.